evening guys hope you're all doing well out there got a few of my 61 cc saws out tonight and they are mostly well they're definitely older saws so and I bought them out just because I had a, a couple of questions about the about the steels that I had the other day um, on display and the 08S and its sibling which I've got in the background the S10 and how did they perform and what bar could you run on the 41 so I thought well I looked on the shelf and I have uh, seven complete 41s and two or three in progress well two in progress and one is really just the parts but so I thought I'd show one which is not being cut with which is this girl and I thought I'd tell you about a few of the really interesting differences from saws that followed on from this saw just a few years later really so this girl would be classed as a as a long stroke engine in my opinion from steel so started life I think in 66 67 67 and so steel say they can run from a 16 to a 25 inch bar and it's a fully adjustable chain oiler little orange wheel sits under here and it's really excellent chain oiler all mag alloy construction all the way around even down to this beautifully undamaged mag alloy knuckle guard full AV this one's unchain braked at this time and on paper make around 3.7 horsepower depending on the literature but somewhere around there um, both top fills top fill for the fuel tank at the back oil fill at the front a bit like the 5051 and the 76 so both fill at the top or again, if you have those with a chain brake version, um, like on the 51 and the 76, if you have the chain brake fitted, of course, then they moved the oil filler, did a molding difference, and then they filled side filled on the on the oil at the front. So, 44 mil piston, 40 mil stroke, and then some 10 years later, if you went to something like the the Dolmar nominal 61 cc that girl is a 47 mil piston with a 35 mil stroke and the same year then for that is 76 would be the solo quite a rare girl actually to find a nice complete saw that's the 650 av again that shares the same piston stroke as the rancher which followed a couple of years later so that's a 48 mil piston 34 mil stroke and a lot of a lot of saws use the 34 mil stroke on there and really a lot of spectacular saws then the rancher 61 48 34 and like lots of the steels the the 34 and the 36 all running 34 mil stroke and from the husk 272 is that a 50 34 34 mil stroke the late 372s went went to a larger stroke so and the so the s10 in the back then while that shared the same piston size as the 41, it was a 44 mil piston on the early one, that's only a 32 mil stroke. So this goes really unusual in that regard. Really long stroke engine, gives it a very distinctive idle. Just a lazy thumping idle, just a beautiful running engine. Well, let me show you how this door cuts. It's getting late as well. Neighbours are going to hate me. So I've got some about 13 inch double knotted conifer here. I'll take a disc there. And I've got some 1920, depending on the angle I'm rotating it at, some, I think that's larch. So I'll take a couple of discs and hopefully that'll show people just what these beautiful old girls perform like. So this is running a 
Um, this is running the original, this type of aluminium covered, coloured steel with the original orange steel writing on. So that's the original period steel bar, solid nose, so stellite tip and running an Oregon Type 75 chain, so 1.6mm gauge, pro chain, semi chisel and let's see how this core performs. teach me if you're not setting up wood properly on it. Let's uh, set that up slightly differently. Oh my goodness! Okay. Oh. Yeah. Right, let's try again. <laughs> Guys, look at the length of the of the chips coming off. What's that? Two and a half or three inches in length? Isn't that incredible? Look, they're coming off like uh, coming off like noodles. Just and yet the engine sounds so lazy. What beautiful, beautiful cutting! Right, let's cut something bigger. spectacular so when you're listening to the engine it barely sounds like it's working you think is that really actually cutting and then cuts these beautiful discs uh, so I've got to make a few of these for my partner Julie um, she wants a couple of plant uh, plant stands and so these are just gorgeous so we're gonna do a couple more of these but 
There you go, that's the ever impressive steel 041 AV mid 60s saw, just impeccable running, long, lazy stroked engine, gorgeous machine pieces for the workshop as well. And so, in case this one is of any interest to anybody, this girl had a has a brand new correct size four and a half wheel pull cord has all correct steel friction washers correct fuel pickup new correct bosch plug new vacuum line fuel line had a correct uh, tillerson carburetor kit for her and doesn't obviously require anything else chain life on it is excellent um, so that's the performance with a semi chisel and of course you could uh, switch this out for a, a roller nose bar and a full chisel chain you cut even faster it could possibly be leaned out more though I I love that type of heavy thick running I love the way these engines run absolutely love it and damage wise the saw is is perfect all the way around it, with the exception of it has a tiny crack on this inside at some point in its life someone has put um, some glue on so there's a tiny crack there although the pull start housing is completely solid and I noticed on the bottom corner of the lug although the screws in there's a tiny piece of metal missing on the outside corner but all completely solid let me show her on a restart just a gorgeous running engine oh. Could obviously come up um, a tiny bit on the idle if it's too low for people. I just I love that type of steady thumping idle. Straight up to peak RPM, straight back down to again a lovely steady idle. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. That is the gorgeous steel 041 AV. Stay safe, guys. Bye for now.